All right, evening, everybody. Um, tonight, I was uh, trying to figure out how to make corrugated, HO scale corrugated iron. And uh, I still just go through the process of how I actually found out something that's uh, going to look pretty damn good. So first up, I uh, went through the drawer in the garage and came out with uh, some of these uh, galvanized uh, nails for my nail gun and scraped a few of these guys uh, with the tin foil in between. I guess it's the end of Canada Day here. I don't know. They got some fireworks left over. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yeah, so I scraped that between the tin foil. That actually was okay, but it was definitely not HO scale. These are pretty big nails. So that, that plan didn't work. And then I went down to a smaller gauge. These are, uh, I think these are 18 gauge or 16 gauge uh, finishing nails for my nail gun. And they don't have an edge on them. So these were kind of pointless. You couldn't get any ridges on the tin foil. So that's done. And then I went to the old house to try and find a spring like I was uh, told springs would work the best. Couldn't find a spring, but I found these matching um, threaded, well, eyelet and I don't know, whatever this one is. And I thought, you know, hey, if I put the tin foil in between here, I can make kind of like a vise and, and do that with the paper. So I will show you um, just an example of that. So I grabbed the foil here and I put it in and you can't press too hard actually you will cut the foil so you just got to be gentle and you just rotate like this and this does a fairly okay job as you'll see when you roll it out but it's not consistent and if you screw up halfway through the roll it really doesn't look like corrugated iron too much so I'll just roll this piece out and give you guys a glance at, at the result uh, so yeah, you can you can see where I stopped rolling and where I started again. There's little dents in there. That's the shiny side. It's really hard to see. Anyway, it's it's okay. It's satisfactory, but I uh, wasn't wasn't too pleased with the uh, the total result there. So then I thought, okay, that's just because I got two hands and I'm holding it. So what if I put uh, Put one of them in the vise and then roll around, roll around the one in the vise. And that actually ended up being worse because it's actually really tricky to roll around something like that and keep the foil where it needs to be. So that plan got scratched. And then I thought, what if I roll, um, just use one of these, but in order to get the indentations, I need to do it on something soft. So I had some, uh, padded sandpaper kicking around and I figured I would give that a go so I'll just show you how that worked out which is not too bad so you press down firmly as hard as you can and you roll as straight as you can okay so you'll see that didn't tear it um, the lines are not that great and you also get the wrinkles from the foam so also not a very good result and then i started looking around for other things that were soft um, i actually got a t-shirt um, but then i thought and then i stumbled actually just leaned on the end of my sawhorse here and these are the sawhorses that a lot of you guys might have in your garage but they're topped with neoprene so this black right here is neoprene a very thin like two mil neoprene and as it turns out, it's pretty much perfect. So I'll just uh, show you guys what I do. So I tape down one end so it doesn't curl up and then make sure it's on top of the neoprene part. And I take my threaded rod, press down as hard as I can and go as consistently as I can and roll it. Pressing down now this one's got a bit of a kink in it, but I got a couple other ones to show you. And so this ended up being the best result. I'll just take that out. So I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see if we can get that on there. 
Anyway, so that that there, you want to have a very clean piece of neoprene. Obviously, the one on the other other one is cleaner. I've got a couple that haven't been as abused as uh, this one has. But yeah, this. Here's another one that came out of there. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Oh man, it's, there we go. There we go. Now. I think we're cooking with gas with that one. So that's HO scale, corrugated iron, really nicely done. Um, and so this method here, uh, the other thing I was thinking of is probably a third of you guys actually have um, neoprene road bed that you can buy in a roll, and that's a good base for rolling this on. I'm not sure what thread this is, but you guys have all kinds of bolts lying around too. You can just find one that works. But um, yeah, this method I find is actually pretty damn good. So this is this is what I'm gonna do for my corrugated iron. I'm gonna cut little pieces out of here and make my awning out of that and I'll back it with something that's rigid. But just wanted to share that tonight. Um, I thought it was a pretty good result. Lovely, take care everybody, uh, have a good evening. Okay, just one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, make sure you're using the extra strong uh, tin foil. Do not use regular stuff. Use the heavy duty, okay? Uh, the regular stuff will just disintegrate. Use heavy duty. Thanks.